Hello, hello everyone, this is Kathy. And I wanna thank you for coming to my channel. I'm here with number 49 of the 100 Day Challenge. Almost halfway through. And today I'll be making a cute file folder folder. Uh, so let's get started. First start out with a regular size file folder and we're going to score it up from the bottom at three inches. And I'm doing it doubled so I'm gonna press especially hard, that's fine. Now I'm gonna open it up laying it flat, and it doesn't matter what kind of folder you have, uh, where your tab is, That may, I mean. Um, next thing we're going to do is score it every four and a quarter inches. So, there. And you might have to fold it over so you make sure it's really right up to the line, the score line. Another four and a quarter. Another four and a quarter. And this should give us four sections. You can put your scoreboard away. And you can fold up the bottom. And fold your sections and give them a good bone fold, crisp bone fold. And you can fold this one in the middle back and give it a nice crease. And another. Let me fold it this way. I think it'll be easier. And I forgot to make a good crease across the bottom as well. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is cut out panels that are eight and a half inches by, I made mine, um, what did I make mine? Let's see how, I think I made them four and a, a little under four and a quarter. Yeah, I made them uh, four and an eighth. And these are gonna go, you're gonna glue those right at each of the panels. You can use the same color, coordinating colors, anything that you want. I think I'm gonna keep mine all on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. You wanna make it flush. 
there's a little border around the whole thing. So before I glue these down, I'm going to take my, my, what do you call this? Distress ink. <laughs> and I'm going to distress You know, I realized I, I kept the lid off of this. Stonato. Time to re-ink it. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if I'm doing it where the pockets fold up. I just really want to do it up on the sides. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Sometimes I make myself laugh at how silly I am. Or ignoramus would be a better word. Okay, now we're gonna glue this. Now you could sew these in. I wonder if they're all the darker color. I do kind of like the darker color. Yes, I'm gonna use these sides. These. I think they go Wish I could read music, because I really have no idea. I think they go like this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you could sew this in. I'm just, I have to work on my machine. I use too much glue when sewing paper. And making the thread break and get all glogged up. And I'm, you see how close to the, uh, the score line I am? Probably an eighth of an inch. And that's where I want to be. Same thing here, I wanna match it up with the top as best as I can. And try to stay away from the fold lines. You could cut these out a little, a little um, smaller. It might be helpful to cut it out at like four inches four by eight and a half inches, which is what this is. I did four and a quarter inches by eight and a half, 
or just under four and a quarter, four and an eighth. Okay, it looks like I'll have to, might have to trim that, but this is good. Now, before we do anything else, well, no, let's fold this up and let us put on pocket panels. And the pocket panels are going to be the same width as these panels, so four and an eighth by three. And again, I'm going to add some ink around the edges. This is coming off. Come on, come on, come on. And those are gonna go just like that. And we're gonna glue down the sides and the bottom. Oh, should I notch them? Why not? Actually, think I'm going to put paper behind here so I don't really need to ink it. You want to match it up with the lines above it. These were a little taller than that one. I don't know why. Okay. And next I am gonna take a scrap and put that right behind the notches.
Oh my. That glued itself so fast. I can't take it off. My goodness. Stonato again. A little better. And part of the problem is okay. Okay, geesh. Next thing you want to do, you're going to take your glue. You're going to fold your um, folder in half. Fold the two ends in. Oh, I'm sorry before. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. In like this. And you're going to put glue or tape runner or double-sided tape in here. I'm going to use double-sided tape, but you can use glue. I'm actually going to use both. <laughs> okay. Oh my. The tape's attacking me. I'm actually going to. I'm going to put glue around the edges, just putting this on the inside. Okie dokie. And let me get my spatula, which really does work. I saw this on Victoria Designs channel. Tina uses this and it works. Well, we'll see, maybe it doesn't work this time. Oh, I probably didn't need to put this on both sides, but that's okay.
Okay. I swear by that spatula. Before spatula, everything would stick together. So now I'm simply going to fold this back and mat. Oh, I forgot to put wet glue, didn't I? Oh, well. I'll never get that apart to be able to get wet glue in there. So now what we have is something that looks like this. And now I want to glue the pocket shut. And I'm going to cut off this tab because I only want one. Let me glue this again. And I'm also going to take this tab. And I'm going to glue this on. The one that's now crooked because I took that off. That's okay. Okay, now I have two front panels and these are five, four and a half by eight and a half. And that looks like it's a little too big. So I'm going to snip off about, oh, it's right here, about an eighth of an inch, just a sliver. I'm not sure I need to do that on the back. The back's a little wider little more so it was just about it needed almost a quarter of an inch off okay Oops, it's gonna go this way I should have inked this before I put it down, but I forgot. So I'm going to do it now. Eesh. So I can glue it again. My mind has been like this all day. Like, I don't know, just out of it. Ever have those days where you just kind of need a reboot? That's what I need is a reboot. Okay. Now. And the back. Yeah, the back will be fine. And actually on the back, I'm going to take a strip and I'm going to put it there. So the tab is covered. So these front panels are a little bigger than the inside panels. They're a little wider.
I forgot to ink that too. Oh my goodness, Kathy, 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 Kathy. I wonder if I can fold that in half and get both. Let's try it. I think so. Now what you want to do is you want to take a strip that's two by eight and a half and you're going to fold it. Do I want this? Yeah. Fold it in half. You don't need a real crisp fold on this because this is going to serve as our spine. And you're going to glue only half of it to start with. Going to set it in and press it down. Next, I'm going to take a piece of fabric just to give it a little more strength. And I'm actually going to take this and use collage medium. to glue the fabric in place. Ooh, almost didn't make that. And your fabric is one inch wide by eight and a half long. And of course, it would be better to sew it on, but you don't have to. And this is a piece of very lightweight cotton, almost a muslin. Looks like I made this a little longer, just to be sure. And I'm going to go over the top as well. And I'm putting on quite a bit. Use collage medium, Mod Podge, watered down glue, which is what Mod Podge is. And cut this off. Okay. 
next, I'm going to glue this in place. And I'm going to do this from a folded position. And I am going to take a moment to dry this. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Now, while that is drying, I'm gonna set it up like this. I'm gonna work on the cards that are going to go in the pockets. Four of these. And I'm going to round the corners. Now I have a stamp I want to try. No, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to use my regular one. And I think I'm going to put kind of like a date, kind of. Let me keep them together because I always do this. T O D. Why? So T O That's a P. We don't want a P. We have A and Y. Whoops. 
So I'm going to do these two first. G O D A Y. Okay. That was a lot of time for a little bit of whatever. Now I'm going to put a eyelet on the end of these. Let's just put them all together. Put them in the middle. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, tomorrow's a day away. I love Annie singing, right? That's when she sings that song. And I'm going to put a little piece of this bit of glue in there. I'm going to add these. Whoops, they need to be ink a dink a dude. Okay. Now we'll put these in here. Whoops. Let's put yesterday. Today. There we go. There. Just like that. And I am going to try to go over these edges.
Oh, I kind of like that look. And one more. Okay, now for the front, I have these really cool faces. And I think, oh, it'd be really nice if this was the right size. And I think it is. Yes. Do I want this one? Or do I want to cut this one in half? Well, let's try both. Ooh, love it, love it, love it, love it. I won't try that one, the other one because I really like this one. So let's glue it down.
going to add a few dots. Just a few dots. Okay, now I think I have a few more pieces. that I could add I could add here Yeah, I'm going to add a few more pockets. Maybe a little tuck spot. Coming from this side. Good. And
wasn't using that one. Okay. And I think this paper has some cool tags that I could use. Yeah. Also had I'm sorry, I think I went off camera. I hope not. Cool.
I'm looking for my hole punch and it's right in front of me. Put this one back here. And we had this little one. No one there. can go in here. This can go in here. I know I cut out that little Oh, I didn't cut out the little bird, which is okay. Sorry guys, my desk has ended up being quite the mess. That'll go in there. Let me add this. Okay, much better with stuff in it. Cute. Oh, definitely need something up here.
And I know I had a little charm that I put away because I was too lazy to put it away. Well, let me put this. I know you all are saying, oh my God, this woman is so messy. I'm never going to watch her again. <laughs> really not like this all the time. I usually get like this when I'm like right in the midst of truly creating. Okay. I like the way this turned out. Well, I hope you enjoy number 48 of the 100 Day Challenge. Please excuse the mess, and please join me again for num. Oh, this is forty nine. Please join me again for number fifty. Thanks. Have a good one.